to me, wow. the word Sherpa is very significant because, you know, as an acronym, I like to say that the S of the Sherpa stands for shifting the mindset or the H stands for harnessing resources. The E stands for enabling focus. The R stands for reframing the approach. The P stands for powering up determination. And finally, the A stands for affirming progress. First of all, I was very fortunate because, you know, I got very good help in my early days of cancer. That is now 19 years ago. And ever since then, I've asked myself, why not others? Why can't others get the same high quality help in their early days like I did? So in a way, the seed was planted then for me. And then many years later, I decided that it's probably a good idea to bring together my 15 years of cancer experience and my 15 years of coaching experience and see whether the methodology of coaching can actually uh, do something different in the field of cancer that had never been done before. So in a way, I am determined to help reduce the suffering that people feel not so much in the medical space, but in the non-medical space. And really that's the reason why I got into the field of uh, cancer coaching. During my illness, when I went through cancer, um, a lot of material came across through family and friends on the mind-body connect. And uh, then when I attended the Sherpa training that you conducted, um, all the readings that I did, all the uh, things that I learned, there were some very interesting and new concepts that came, like the family uh, constellation therapy, the Kuponopono, uh, very powerful tools, tools that are being used in different parts of the world. Uh, but, you know, I had really had no idea at all. And those things basically, you know, just uh, uh, opened up um, a lot of possibilities for me. And I told myself that I have to have to share this with others and uh, ensure that their quality of life is enhanced, if not uh, the quantity of their life. I think it goes back down to what you put on your medical school essay. You know, and I said that uh, I went into medicine and oncology to heal and uh, to quite. And when you understand how the field of oncology works, it's fascinating but you also understand that there are certain factors that are outside of the scope of practice. And what that means is essentially you wanted to go beyond. And then I read My Cancer Is Me and it pretty much summarized exactly what I was thinking. And that I immediately thought, well, how can I, uh, how can I, we, I can contribute to putting this into practice and uh, creating these novel endpoints and really, uh, pushing uh, cancer in that way and, uh, and the way, uh, you know, it works. So that was my story. First of all, for the audience, I, I didn't know what a Sherpa was until I, I was involved. A Sherpa helps you, guides you as you, you know, climb up the mountain. I mean, that wasn't the best definition. But in the sense that, uh, you know, it really takes someone who is willing to face their own uh, imperfections and understand that sometimes uh, these things contribute to our own level of inflammation, which then translates into you know, how we feel and stressors. So it takes someone who kind of wants to be a, a little bit conscious of what's going on in their life, uh, both from a medical perspective and from an emotional mental perspective, and uh, really being open to the field of science in general, not only the application, but what it implies and then also themselves. So. Um, talk about the hardiness of the Sherpas, their expertise, their familiarity with the dangerous terrain and the experience that they have at high altitudes, right? That makes them for a good guide, a good navigator and a good mentor. So having been there, done that, uh, as Sherpas, we can understand the pain, the dilemma, the anguish uh, that a cancer patient goes through. And uh, as Sherpas, we help the thrivers, um, the people whom we coach, to navigate through that arduous journey that uh, they go through as uh, after cancer or 
during their cancer treatment. I've always been impressed by the Sherpa from my trekking days when I was young. And I found it fascinating so that here is a group of people that carries the load for the mountaineer. They navigate the terrain for the mountaineer. But for me, the most powerful thing was that they don't want the glory of climbing the summit. Yeah. That they want the mountaineer to climb the summit and they are happy for the mountaineer to feel great about climbing the summit. So for me, that is the attitude of the Sherpa, which I really thought was valuable and something that we could bring into cancer coaching. So to me, wow. the word Sherpa is very significant because, you know, as an acronym, I like to say that the S of the Sherpa stands for shifting the mindset or the H stands for harnessing resources. The E stands for enabling focus. The R stands for reframing the approach. The P stands for powering up determination. And finally, the A stands for affirming progress. So if we as Sharpas can do all of this, shifting the mindset, harnessing the resources, etc., and we are not worried about the glory, what we are really keen on is to help our thrivers take that healing journey, then we are on a good wicket.